God damn it, you're beautiful. You as well. Welcome back to GT Sport. This thing, I don't even know what it is. I just know that it's it's really nice looking. Now, I did some racing. I did quite a lot of racing. And I thought, you know, I'm going to save up my mileage points because I know for, well, I, I hope for, for a fact that the, the cars in here, the special cars, are actually going to be replaced every now and again. Hopefully, that's what you would assume. Now, as you can see, that Corvette looks absolutely ridiculous. So I want to buy it. Now, a special car that can't be obtained in Brand Central. That's awesome. I didn't even know you could get it in Brand Central. Purchase. That's going in my collection. I, I don't know how anyone could try and miss out on this because look, it's a wide body vet that looks incredible. Seriously, I don't know what the hell this is. They're just gonna release ridiculous cars on here that you can only get in here, obviously, and never release them on the actual thing. Like, I don't know how they're gonna do it, but let's buy some wheels as well. We need some wheels. I need some gold ones. Yes, I don't even care what they are. This These ones on sale for 50. And then obviously there's the decals and there's helmets and the poses. I, I quite like that. Now, my think, I think my next thing to... But, ignore, ignore. And the next thing is probably going to be the gold paint, which will make me look like a massive bell end. But I've got to buy it because it's there and it's on sale. So uh, that's, that's the objective today. But first things first, let's try out the new whip. Oh my god, it looks so good in that blue. I don't think I'm actually going to change the blue, so... Uh, I don't know how this is going to handle. Is it similar to the normal Corvette? G Honestly, I have no clue other than that it's a GR3 car. So it's pretty high up. It's one of the race car tier cars. And it sounds scrumptious. Let's have a listen. Proper, go on. Oh, now that is a sound I, I want to hear. Hopefully, it actually sounds like that in the actual race. All right, let's go. New track as well. Oh my god, this thing is wide. Wide body vet. Easy. This is this is just hacks, mate. So I'm against a, a low wide body car here. You see that wheel spin there? Traction control, cause cause I'm shy. Yes, this interior looks meaty, meaty race car, American. Big. I haven't been on this track before. That this is a pretty nice track. I don't think I've ever been on this track before in a game ever. If I have, I apologize. I just don't remember you. Ah ha ha! Goodbye. I got very confused for a second because my my name has a British flag next to it. And here's an American flag, and I was like, what? Can you believe it? New car without spending any money. I want to put some new wheels on some cars as well. The RCF, for example, currently has the stock American wheels. I think they're the, the, the default wheels you get if you get the American RCF. That needs to change. And I also want to take some pictures with this car because it's wide and sexy. Every now and again, I feel that this thing wants to snap. She wants to have a little bit of a skin. I'm going to turn down the traction control to about a one. Now I've got a bit more turning, but I know for a fact I'm going to oversteer a little bit. I don't want to go too much though. Oh, no! I'm winning back up. This is a race. I'm focusing on actually winning. I want some more pennies. I want to buy some more stuff. I've got a, a loads of other cars that I want to buy in this game. I mean, not a massive amount. Like quite a few, though. Oh, excuse me. Slip on the inside. And you're out. Sorry. <laughs> I think the main problem with GT Sport sounds, I, I know a lot of people aren't happy with them. Personally, they're, well, obviously, they're a lot better than GT6, which wasn't massively difficult. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the thing is with the, the sounds, they're not over excessive. Like, in Need for Speed, in Forza, and Need for Speed mostly, and then in Forza, and a lot of other racing games, they over the top them, they OTT them to give like the best sound you've ever heard in your life of that car. And they do that to make it more exciting and stuff. GT doesn't try to do that, I don't think. They try to keep the basic stock sound because driving the RCF in this game, I have been a lot. It sounds very, very similar to how it was stock when I wasn't being proud. Give me them mileage points. Are we back to a thousand yet? I think we're close to a thousand. I want a thousand, 20 more points. Are you joking me, mate? I also want to go through some cars and see what else I want to buy because I've got 179,000 now. I'm, I want to buy the, the Lexus LC500 because that's a car that honestly, I, I, I love it. And a lot of people are like, it's, it's another Lexus. But that, that's what people thought with the RCF. And I absolutely love it. It's, it's just something about it from, from, I actually drove this one and I can say again, it's, it's a step up from my car, and I, I just, I want, I want to own one, honestly. Like, I don't think that it's going to be my next car or whatever, but I think in the future, down the line, when they depreciate to hell, maybe I'll get one. There's a Toyota Concept I was looking at that was really weird. It's just so ob weird. It's, I don't know what other word to describe. It's just absolutely bizarre. I think that it might have been the stock one, actually. I don't know which one it was. It's a, it's a real thing, I think. Safe bet to buy would be a GTR. It's, it's an easy one to pick out, and I, I'd love to see what it's like fully upgraded in this game. I mean, we've tried the race car version. The wheels on this car do not need to change, so I'm going to back out of that. 
That, no. Uh, because I want to change R on the RCF and the SLS. That's the main thing. Oh my god, it literally does sound like it. It's just a really bassy version. So again, it's a livery editor. I do find it a bit weird how livery editor is where you change the wheels and stuff, but I kind of get it's part of the whole design of the car. But jumping into wheels, we've got standard wheels. Let's go. What do we change to? Now, those are a little bit freaky. I don't think we're going to find wheels like... What happened to my color? Then we're going to find wheels like mine and... I. I never thought these suit like these style of rims. They just don't suit the style of the car. It looks stupid. It looks ridiculous. I might have to keep stock on there, if I'm honest. I'm really not liking my selection of wheels I have right now. That looks cool. We need to black out the wheels on the SLS. It just it just looks a little bit nicer. Uh, I could put decals and stuff on it. I think maybe we'll put some on the hood. I kind of like the black hood idea, but people are probably moaning at me. So for now, she's staying like this. Let's jump into the mission challenge. This is something I've been waiting to try, ready to try with you guys, because I've just been doing normal arcade races, because I don't want to ruin it. So let's jump in. Now, the idea of this one is Roadster versus Roadster. No way, I remember this. We did this one on the demo, didn't we? <laughs> we did this one. It's pretty much just a challenge of overtaking as many other hairdressers as you possibly can. Goodbye. Taking it. Oh, break. I don't need to break. Panzer's got pure power and skill on his side. Look at that. All of them taken. I, I better give me gold for that first place. Easy. The leader of the hairdressers. That's what they call me. Oh, obviously not. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you very much for, uh, for congratulating me on this challenge. She's got 10 more mild points. One more challenge. And I'm buying that gold and we're sticking it on a car. We're going to ruin something. Let's go to event list number two. When I get to the front of the pack. 208 in me way. Come on. Smash out. Oh, he's, he's understeering. It's all right. Come on, give me that all-wheel drive pull. Oh, there is an Evo in front. I just realized. Oh, thank God we get two laps. <laughs> if we got one lap, that would have been it. I mean, I could I could do it in one lap, I think. I could do it in one lap if I gave it another cheeky retry, but... Nah! We ain't got time for a retry. We're going to get one! Oh, 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 look at that. I did awful. But somehow I got a gold, which means give me another 10 mileage points. Yes! We now got a thousand, and that means we can buy the gold paint. Because we are pure Gs. What up? I'm here for an exchange. Give me that gold chrome so I can be a FIFA YouTuber. Yes. What? I've always wanted to be a FIFA YouTuber. Which car is getting the, the royal treatment of gold paint? <sighs> I'm not too sure. It could be my first car. That was my first car, and I think it might deserve it. I don't like the delivery on it, and I want to take it off, but I think it's a nice car, so I don't want to kill it. We could get the 208 because that pissing... Why Why are you give me that? We're going for it. We're going for gold. Yes. Let me throw on the gold. Oh, that is disgusting. I've got a chrome gold Peugeot. <laughs> Can you imagine going to like some rap, rap place and be like, yo, wrap my Peugeot, please. You're like, fuck her. I'm all for doing what you want, but Jesus, mate. <laughs> Calm it down. <laughs> yes, she is. She's just taunting me. Do we buy the LC500 in the next episode? I'm really tempted. I'm so, so, so tempted. I... I, I don't know massively why other than that I like it. It's just grown on me a lot because of... It's a similar car to my RCF. That's probably just the only reason. It's just... <sighs> let's let's see. Let me know if you want me to buy it. For now, though, I am going to take some more pretty pictures. <laughs> not sure how well you can see it, but in the background, my car's not gold anymore. So, uh, I don't know if it's saved properly, but... That is the focus of the image. So, can we get rid of these bloody things? There we are our image for the episode. I like that. That's probably going to be the thumbnail if you hadn't figured it out already. But thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you're enjoying GT Sport as much as I am. I'm going to do some more progression videos shortly and expect videos with Matty C very soon. I'm not going to lie. I think it's probably slightly bad how addictive this photo mode is. I'm not normally one for photo modes. I can tell you that I usually laugh at people that spend about an hour on photo mode. And, I, and now I'm here spending an hour on photo mode. Seriously, the, the amount of stuff you can do and the fact that you can just place cars into pictures. I thought it was a stupid idea at first. I thought it was the stupidest idea. Like, I want to just take normal game screenshots. But now I'm like, oh, it's, it's the best idea ever. You better fall down well expect there's going to be a photo mode contest on this game. It needs to be done. Just using the scapes mode. It's a genius idea. No one's thought of it yet. Now I've just told everyone everybody's going to steal your bloody idea. They guess me photo mode and has to stop now because of this. The server's just done. <laughs> just my bloody luck. Anyway, if you want to see more, tell me what you want to see on GC Sport. I've got some ideas cooking, as said, but 
I don't want to share all of those because I don't want to ruin the surprises. Don't worry, there's a lot of GT Sport to come past Need for Speed Payback's launch. So if there's more your thing than Payback, I got you covered, fam. Don't, don't I, I never say fam again. Well, be sure to smash like if you want to see more. Subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next one. Uh, this gets my approval, this car.